y'all hey welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new i am back with another video and in this video i will be showing you guys how i got this valentine inspired heart little flame design as you can see i'm starting the video off with shaping the application is already done if you guys want to see how i did the application for this video check out my last video which is application for beginners if you're interested in seeing that but we're going to go ahead and start with shaping in this video and get into the design so right now here I'm just sealing my cuticles and for that I am using as always my Panda 5-in-1 Carbite Drill Bit and the Grit Medium. If you guys are interested in using this bit or getting this bit, um, it is on Amazon and it's also in my Amazon storefront. And my Amazon storefront is always linked in the description below of my videos. Alright, now that I'm done sealing my cuticles, I'm going to go straight in with my hand file and begin to shape the nails. I like to start with filing underneath the nails. Don't forget to file underneath the nails because it makes a huge difference. So I like to start with that and then I like to file the surface of the nails and then the sides and the tip. If you have super long nails like this, it helps to hold the bottom of the nail like I'm doing there while filing so it doesn't hurt or move around too much. Also, by the way, if you couldn't tell, I like to use 88 grit file. That's the only grit that I use to file my nails. That is how I get my crisp shape. So I highly recommend that. As a beginner, maybe something finer like a 180 or 100, 180, whatever they call it. <laughs> I just know I like to use 88 grit. It is what works best for me and I highly recommend it. This isn't a shaping tutorial, but I do want to say when you are shaping to get the crisp shape, you want to make sure that you hold your file straight up against the nail, like straight parallel with it. You don't want to have it curved or anything like that. You guys see how I literally have it straight up against the nail. You want to have it straight up against the nail and file up and down. That is how I get my crisp shape. Also, I say this all the time, but it's true. You got to put some muscle in it, y'all. Like, you got to, you know go at it <laughs> you can't just do like no lazy shape man. you have to get in there you know you got to make sure that the whole surface like each and every part of the nail has been touched by the file like the whole nail should be white once you're done
all right guys well this is how they're looking after shaping and filing next i'm going to go in with my drill and i'm going to file the tips and underneath the nails that drill bit you saw there wouldn't fit underneath the nails so i'm going to switch it out into the um the five and one drill bit i used before this one's a little like cone shaped so it can fit underneath there easily so yeah just gonna file underneath those nails and shape them up yes it is important to file underneath the nails at the tip as well as the sides all right and then i'm just going to take my regular bit to file alongside the tips of the nails I don't know how the rest of you file the tips of your nails, but this is what I do. I use my drill. You want to make sure you're not forgetting to file the tips of those nails. You must get in there with it good um, because it makes a huge difference. I must have and love a crisp free edge. And yes, they all have to line up. It's the OCD in me. <laughs> Alright y'all, this is how they look complete. And then next I'm going to go right in with my buffer and go ahead and buff the nails. Go in with some alcohol to clean the nails off and then I'm going to go ahead on with the design. Alright guys, so for this look, I will be using Madame Glam's Perfect White as always. This is my favorite white. Highly recommend it. I will be using this for the French part. And I know some of you may ask, this ring right here is from Shein. If you guys haven't seen any of my Shein hauls, I don't know what you're doing, but I have a few on my um, channel. You guys can go check out. And also, I know, I know, I need to switch this bottle out, but I'm using all that's left of it. So I'm struggling it a little bit, but it's still something here, y'all, so I'm going to use it. <laughs> also, this liner brush is from Amazon. Um, it comes in a set of nine different sizes, and you guys can find them on my Amazon storefront or in my Amazon storefront. And the link to my Amazon storefront is always in the description below my videos.
all right y'all so this is how we're looking this is the first part of it done next we're going to move on to the last step of this design which is the heart flame part which is what i'm sure you guys all came for so we're going to use nail house's pepto pink polish for this look So this is my first time doing this design and I think I did okay. Um, it was just a little difficult, but it got easier um, once I did more, like once the nails went on. So the easiest way I can explain this is first drawing like a little line down the bottom. That is going to be your guide. So you want to draw a little line down the bottom, middle of the nail. And then on top of that, you're going to start drawing the flame. Starting with one side, you want to go up into like a curve, like a little curve and then finishing it out with a little line and doing the same thing on the other side. And as you can see, the one on the left side was a little bit, um, and went up a little bit more, a little higher. And after that, you want to start on the right side. Well, that's the easiest for me. Start on the right side and go on to the left and draw like a little hourglass kind of figure, connecting down to that little line we drew at the bottom. And this doesn't have to be perfect as you can see because we're going to fill it in anyway. All right, and then so after we connect them, after we bring them down to that little line, as you can see, the best way I can explain this is kind of like flaring out the bottom um, as if you're drawing a tree because that is going to lead up into a curve into the next little flame. Alright, and then the next part I'm going to work on is the heart in the middle. You just want to bring it down a little bit in the middle so it can be that little line there. And then you want to draw the heart. There's no other way to kind of explain this, but you can just watch. And like I said, this is my first time drawing this design, so I was having a little bit of trouble. But I kind of got the hang of it as I went along, and I think they came out decent. All right guys, so I just cured that nail and this is how the first one looks. Now I'm gonna proceed on to doing the same exact thing to the rest of the nails.
all right guys so this is how they are looking super cute i'm just gonna finish the thumb and we'll be done but this is how they look not bad at all Alright guys, I just finished doing the thumb and then I top coated them all and cured them for 60 seconds and here are the final results. That is all I have for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and turn your post notifications so that you are notified each time I post a new video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.